Have you ever seen a parade? There's often lively music, parade floats, maybe dancing or singing. There are people dressed up in costumes, doing performances, and all kinds of things. Today, our story is about a parade for a king. But unfortunately, it wasn't a parade that was really fit for a king. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. First, let me introduce our new Bible verse. It's Philippians 2.8. I'll say it and you read it along with me. Philippians 2.8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians 2.8. Although Jesus is fully God, he was also fully human. He came to earth to obey his Father's plan and rescue sinners by dying on the cross in our place. I'm going to say our verse again. Can you read it with me this time? Philippians 2.8 And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians 2.8 Time for the most fun part. Let's begin our Bible story. It was time to celebrate Passover, a special time to remember how God had freed his people from slavery in Egypt. Many Israelites had traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate God's amazing rescue. Jesus and his disciples were among the people who traveled to Jerusalem. When they were near a place called Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead into a village. Jesus gave them instructions. As soon as you enter the village, you will find a young donkey and her baby tied there. No one has ever sat on her. Untie her and bring her here. If anyone asks, why are you doing this? Just tell them the Lord needs it. The disciples did as Jesus said. As they untied the donkey, its owners asked, why? They answered as Jesus told them, the Lord needs it. They brought the donkey to Jesus and he rode on the donkey into Jerusalem. Now when you think of a king, what do you think of a king riding? Maybe a white horse, a camel, an elephant, or Mercedes Benz. So why would Jesus choose to make his kingly entrance on a humble donkey? Well, a long, long time before Jesus was born, a prophet of the Lord, whose name was Zechariah, said that one day the king of Israel would ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. Zechariah also said that this king would be meek and humble, just like Jesus. As Jesus rode into Jerusalem, people spread their robes along the road for Jesus, and others spread palm branches. The whole crowd praised God with loud voices for all the miracles that they had seen. Hosanna, they shouted. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The people welcomed Jesus as their promised king. They hoped he would save them from the Romans as Rome had conquered the area, including Israel. Some religious leaders asked Jesus to tell his disciples to be quiet. Jesus answered, If they did not praise me, the rocks would praise me. While Jesus was outside of the temple building, people who were blind and lame came to him. Jesus healed them. The blind and lame would not have been allowed to worship inside the temple building. Other religious leaders saw Jesus' miracles and heard the children saying, Hosanna to the son of David. They were very angry and asked Jesus, Do you hear what these children are saying? They were saying, Jesus is the king. Yes, Jesus told them. The writer of the psalm said, You have prepared praise from the mouth of children and nursing infants. Jesus left them and went to the town of Bethany to spend the night. During Jesus' triumphal entry, the people welcomed him as king. The problem was they only understood part of the truth. They expected Jesus to be an earthly king and set up an earthly kingdom. But Jesus came to be an even better kind of king. Jesus' kingdom is a heavenly kingdom and he is our heavenly king. Jesus was the Messiah spoken about by the prophet. 